Enoch, the man who walked with God and was no more. A fascinating figure in biblical history, Enoch is more than just a name on a genealogical chart. He was a man who embarked on a spiritual journey that transformed him from an ordinary individual to a revered prophet, a man who walked with God. In the antediluvian world, a time before the great flood, Enoch emerged as a beacon of righteousness amidst a society teetering on the brink of moral collapse. His path was not an easy one. Enoch lived in an era marked by corruption and decadence, a time when the divine principles of love, compassion and justice were often disregarded. Yet, Enoch stood firm. He embraced the divine covenants and tirelessly preached the gospel, striving to bring unity and care to a society desperately in need. His dedication to spiritual growth and societal reform was a testament to his unwavering faith and commitment to God's teachings. As he walked his path of righteousness, Enoch's relationship with the divine deepened. He was not just a follower of God, he was a friend, a confidant. His spiritual journey was so profound that it is said he walked with God, a phrase that encapsulates the depth of his spiritual connection and his unique status in biblical history. This connection was not a one-way street. In return for his faith, God revealed to Enoch visions of the future, visions that held profound truths about the end of time. These revelations, recorded in the Book of Moses, serve as a roadmap for the current dispensation, guiding us as we navigate our own spiritual journeys amidst the complexities of modern society. And so began Enoch's journey into the divine, a journey that would reveal profound truths about the end of time. As we delve deeper into this fascinating figure's life and teachings, we'll uncover the wisdom that Enoch's story holds for us today, wisdom that can help us navigate our own paths of faith and righteousness in an ever-changing world. Enoch was not just a man of God. He was a man to whom God revealed divine secrets. Now let's delve into the extraordinary visions that Enoch received, visions that set him apart from his contemporaries and indeed from most of humanity. Enoch's divine encounters were not mere religious experiences. They were windows into the divine realm, glimpses into the future of mankind and the end of time. These visions were clear, direct and profound, transcending the boundaries of human understanding. In these divine revelations, Enoch saw the progression of human history, the rise and fall of kingdoms, the triumphs and tragedies of generations yet unborn. He saw the great flood that would cleanse the earth and the rainbow that would symbolize God's covenant with mankind. He was shown the advent of the Messiah, the ultimate sacrifice for the redemption of humanity and the final judgment day when each soul would face the consequences of their earthly deeds. Enoch's visions also revealed the eternal principles of redemption and salvation. The consistent plan of salvation that God has laid out for all his children. He saw the love of God for his children throughout history and how his compassion and mercy are always extended, even in the face of human failings. But perhaps the most striking aspect of Enoch's visions was the glimpse into the end of time. He saw the culmination of human history, the final reckoning, and the ultimate triumph of good over evil. He saw the establishment of a city of holiness, a society that had achieved righteousness over centuries, a society that mirrored the divine order. What set Enoch apart was not just what he saw, but how he responded. He took these divine revelations to heart, becoming a beacon of righteousness in a corrupt society. He preached the gospel, cared for the needy and worked tirelessly to build a city of holiness, embodying the principles he had seen in his visions. Enoch's visions were not just for him, they held profound implications for all of humanity. His story serves as a reminder that divine truth is not just about knowledge but about transformation. It challenges us to live in accordance with these eternal principles, to strive for unity and to care for the needy, just as Enoch did. It reminds us that the plan of salvation is consistent across time and that God's love for his children is unwavering, even amidst the changing tides of human history. So, what do Enoch's visions mean for us today? 
As we delve into the implications of Enoch's visions, we find ourselves standing at the precipice of a profound understanding. His predictions about the end of time, steeped in allegory and symbolism, are not just about doom and gloom. Rather, they paint a picture of a divine plan, a cosmic drama that unfolds across the ages. Enoch's visions as recorded in the Book of Moses are a beacon of hope amidst a world often marred by corruption and despair. They underscore the importance of living righteously and maintaining our covenants, just as Enoch and his society did even when surrounded by the corrupt and the wicked. Through Enoch's eyes, we see a society that achieved righteousness over centuries, leading to their translation. This feat is a testament to the transformative power of faith and unity, and a call to action for us to strive for the same in our own societies. Interpreted by scholars, these visions also reveal a God who is deeply compassionate and merciful. They show a God who loves his children throughout history, regardless of their missteps or transgressions. This portrayal of God offers us comfort and reassurance, serving as a reminder of his enduring love and mercy. Moreover, Enoch's visions give us insight into the plan of salvation, a plan that remains consistent across different dispensations. They emphasize the eternal principles of redemption and salvation, reinforcing the belief that despite our flaws and failings, we are all part of a divine plan, a plan that offers redemption to all who seek it. In essence, Enoch's visions are a mirror reflecting our own times, our struggles and our potential for growth and transformation. They serve as a roadmap, guiding us towards a future that, while uncertain, is steeped in hope and divine promise. Enoch's visions provide us with a unique perspective on the end of time, a perspective that continues to hold relevance today. Enoch's life and visions offer us several key takeaways. First and foremost, Enoch's role as a prophet in a time of corruption is paramount. His ministry and prophecies documented in the Book of Moses serve as a blueprint for the present era, illustrating the necessity of adhering to living covenants amidst moral decay. Enoch's society over centuries attained righteousness, a feat that led to their translation. This achievement underscores the power of unity and collective striving towards righteousness. It is a testament to the transformative power of living a life rooted in the principles of the gospel. The teachings of Enoch also shed light on the importance of caring for those in need and creating a society of holiness. These themes as relevant today as they were then prompt us to reflect upon our own societies and the role we play in their moral fabric. Enoch's visions, particularly his revelation of God's love for his children throughout history, offer a comforting yet poignant glimpse into the divine. They showcase the compassion and mercy of God, even in the face of impending judgment. Moreover, Enoch's visions of the end of time present us with a clear picture of the divine plan. The plan of salvation, consistent across dispensations, underscores the eternal principles of redemption and salvation. It reminds us that despite the trials and tribulations we face, there is a divine plan in place and salvation is within reach for those who adhere to these principles. Lastly, Enoch's life and visions serve as a reminder of the prophetic role in revealing divine truths. Prophets like Enoch act as conduits for divine wisdom, providing guidance and insight, particularly regarding the end of time. Through Enoch's life and visions, we gain a deeper understanding of the divine plan for the end of time, reminding us of the eternal principles of redemption and salvation.